and then he'll just go, okay, we're live. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Here we are. We're, we're already live. We've been live since you got in. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Yay. All right, perfect. So, um, <coughs> introduce yourself. This is a, this is a, a customer that we've had uh, for, for, for some time, but uh, tell us who you are and, and how you found the House of Hot Rock. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, well, my name is Adam Browning and uh live in arlington and <clears throat> i i'm pretty sure i just found you guys on a google search um i have uh, been struggling with this truck and kind of getting it uh where i wanted it to be for quite some time for several years and, now and tell us mm -hmm. or the year and uh, yeah. make model of the truck sure so it's a 1966 f100 uh pickup it's got a, a long bed um, it's pretty interesting. My dad actually bought this truck brand new in 1965 um, off the showroom floor at Dubshaw Ford. Oh, really? Yeah, so that was pretty cool. If yeah. I remember, I think he said he paid 20, 22 or $2,300 for it. $2,300. Yeah, $2,300. <laughs> yeah, so, so pretty wild. Um, so, yeah, it's got a lot of sentimental value to me, and um, but that's that's the truck. But I... So I've <clears throat> been in the process of, of, you know, trying to restore this thing and, and get it the way my dad always kind of envisioned it to be. Sure. Um, just a, a little backtrack real quick. He, um, he uh, you know, it's kind of a long story, and I'll tell you all about it. We At one point, my dad almost <coughs> lost this truck altogether. Yeah. Um, and I'll get into that story here in just a little bit. But... He, uh, he always envisioned and kind of told me how he wanted uh, to do this truck. He got very ill in, in 2007. Uh, he had esophagus cancer and oh, had his esophagus removed. Sorry and, about that. Yeah, I appreciate it. And then he developed right during that same time COPD and emphysema. So oh he was gosh. on oxygen. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> But so we got the truck back. And uh, again, I'll explain that story in a little while. But um, we were in the process of working on it. And we got the crate motor in it. It only had uh, basically the cab and some temporary seats and, and the motor in it. And he did get to drive it and do a, a pretty nice burnout <laughs> the early part of 2014 before he passed away in November. Awesome. So, yeah, that's so that, was, that was pretty cool. <laughs> so it's just really been a passion of mine to, you know, to get that truck the way he always envisioned it, which was quite custom. He was really a kid at heart and always had been. But... Um, so that's kind of where we're at and where I'm at today so, with so, the truck. So. so he bought it brand new. How did, how did over the year? I mean, that's a long time, but over the years, I guess, uh, was it a farm truck or what, what was it used for originally? Yeah, so no, it was never a farm truck per se because, you know, we've all always kind of lived in the city. But um, the original motor was a 352 Cleveland. And that that engine had almost four hundred thousand miles on it when it got yanked oh, out right, of there. Right, yeah, right. so that was that was pretty crazy. My dad just drove it all over the place. It was uh, originally um, white and brown, two tone. I think y'all can probably picture those way Sweet. back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah so absolutely. we had that. I remember one time <clears throat> that uh, me and one of my good friends. I, I think I was only like ten or eleven, but he drove us all the way down to Galveston to go go deep sea fishing and the majority of that time we rode in this me and my friend rode in the back of the in truck the all the way yeah, to galveston so days, yeah. yeah those are the good old days so <laughs> yes. i remember that yes. so it's just things like that you know that yeah. uh, that bring back all those memories so, awesome yeah oh, awesome okay yeah. and then so and then uh fast forward to uh, nowadays and then you <coughs> had you had the truck and you said yeah all right it's time to do this thing yeah yeah absolutely so um so it's probably right around 2008 and 2009, uh, right in there. Um, you know, the truck hadn't really been been worked on or any body work done or anything like that. Uh, and my dad had, you know, we we used to frequent going out to Kennedale to the raceway. Right? Yeah, we yeah. love that was one of the things we loved to do together: go out there and watch the drag races. And my dad ended up meeting this 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 racer. His name was uh, Jesse. Uh, Brantley, and he was out of Mansfield, and he had this uh, Mustang, a, 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 I think it was a 1994 Mustang race car, and my dad just loved it, and he found out that Jesse was trying to sell it, so my dad wanted to buy it. So ultimately, he ended up buying that that uh, that Mustang, and <clears throat> we were, you know, we would race it, and I think my dad had it like a you know year, year and a half, and but he realized what kind of a money money pit it really was, and yeah. <laughs> you know having to <clears throat> just 
trying to maintain that Mustang and race it, and he he uh, he ended up seeing some guys out at the raceway that he knew from when he took some body shop classes out at TCJC. Yeah. And so these guys, um, him and one of his partners or whatever, they kept trying to buy it and talk my dad out of that Mustang. They wanted to buy it. Right. So ultimately, my dad gave in and decided, yeah, he would he would sell it to them. But ultimately, he didn't sell it. He, he worked out. My dad was one of these good old boys. Mm-hmm. I mean, he just on a handshake. And so... He uh, worked out a deal with them where he would give them the Mustang, and then they would do like $10,000 worth of work to his truck, and they had a shop out in Azle. So ultimately, we, I remember we drove the truck out there to him, and they had it for months and months, and they were kind of giving him you know, the runaround. And uh, long story short, basically, we discovered that these guys, they got closed down on their shop, and <laughs> <clears throat> so we had to... You know, we were panicking and oh, went out there to try to repo it and get it before that place was just completely gone. About and what so, year was that? This was probably about 2010, I believe. Oh, all right. Yeah, right in there. And so, um, so we gathered up literally a little posse of my friends and some family members, and we went out there. I think there was like nine of us or something went out there to this to this shop, and we were just shocked because the uh, that was. Uh, complete frame off i mean they were supposed to do some body work and sandblast the frame and all that so they had the original motor out of the truck hanging in the in oh, the no. in a tree yeah, right yeah, yeah the frame was inside <clears throat> uh they all the body was just laying around so the bed was off the cab was off the fenders were off i mean it was just all in pieces just out in the yard so it was pretty unbelievable and there was just a mess of stuff everywhere and so we ultimately ended up having to get a tow truck with a boom lift and a big trailer <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> way to go, Stacy. That's so a special sorry. Nurse. <laughs> so sorry. That's all right. Shop phone. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so we had to get uh, a tow truck with a boom lift and, and, you know, gather all the parts we could and the truck and, and the engines and all that. Now, the crate motor he had, had delivered to these guys, and that was in the shop, still in the crate. Oh, so we had good. Yeah, so at least we had that as well. So, But there was a lot of trim pieces and just miscellaneous stuff that we just lost. I mean, yeah. we could never, never find that and get that. So I have pictures. Um, I'm in the process literally now trying to get a whole photo album or digital photo album of of kind of the whole steps of all this so i'm in the yeah, process of, yeah that's going to be cool to have put together but i've got photos of the truck on this big trailer and pieces and the body parts and all that stuff so anyway that's kind of how all this started and, and we got it um got it back to the house and so we started slowly working on it recruited some some family members and stuff to help us work on it i'm no joe mechanic you know i'm more of a salesman than i am uh, a mechanic but you know, I do tinker around with stuff like that, but my stepson is a is a is a really good mechanic. He actually uh, manages a, uh, a, sh- a place that they're a mobile um, mechanic shop for big oh, yeah. rigs and stuff. So oh, they yeah, go yeah, out yeah. to okay. yeah, they go out to you know whether uh, trucks yep. all you know broke down or whatever. And uh, so he helped. He did a lot of the work. I, his name is Corey Cook. I, I really you know. Uh, appreciate all his hard work over the years getting it you know getting it put together and the engine put in it the new engine and whatnot let's see if we can uh, do some kind of what, what is it um, uh, I think maybe it's uh. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can't hear that in mine oh well oh well okay okay <laughs> yeah there we go that was What's cool happening? I don't know I guess I can't hear it in mine uh, it, it, uh, whatever that was some that was some applause some I think applause. is what it was yeah so like? that and another family friend named uh, Tom Smith, he also came over and helped, you know, uh, did some work on it. And and also another really good buddy of mine, Brent Billingsley, um, you know, also contributed on, on so putting they, this thing so together. So they put it back together and then sanded it and then uh, did, who did the paint? Uh, well, actually, at this point, um, so it took so long to for all that to happen. Um, really, it was about 20... 12 and 13 and 14 when we were putting the crate motor in it and all that the body was still off of course we had the cab on it uh and the engine put in it and um that's when my dad got to drive it like i say before he passed away but that's basically all we had done to it was just the cab on it all primered and rusted um and the engine in it uh no bed on it or any of that we had some new you know we had some tires and wheels on it 
uh, those Mickey Thompsons that you saw when I brought it in. So, um, so that's you know. And then when he passed away, I just kept on going, you know, yeah. with the project. Yeah. So that's that's kind of the time frame there on on how all that went down. Okay. But the guy that did the paint was just a actually a guy that that I met. He came to one of our garage sales one day, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's from Egypt or something. But he had a little shop over here off a of division, and I kind of befriended him and. And uh, when I got the truck ready for the paint body, he, you know, he did, he did all of that, um, and he did a really good job with him. He He's got a, a pearl, job yeah. Thank it. you. He's got a pearl white, you know, paint job, and for just a, a one guy jobber, I think he did pretty good. He, so that was in his garage or something, or did he? Well, he had a shop. Okay. Yeah, it was over off Division and, and Bowen, so one of those shops over there. But he did pretty good with it. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you another quick little story. Uh, you know, you see the hood's got some uh, louvers on it. So my dad had that done way back in the 70s. Yeah, and, it was a um, thing, yeah. Yeah, it was a thing back then. And so at one point, after I'd already had the, the, the paint job done and whatnot, I was going down Green Oaks, and the, the hood never had the safety latch, okay, uh, reinstalled in it. And I was going down Green Oaks one day by myself and tootling probably 40, 45 miles an hour, and, that, and the hood wasn't shut all the way. I didn't realize it. Oh, so wow. it came flying up, broke the wind, broke the the windshield and crunched the hood and so i was devastated on that right obviously scared me to death so i had to go to my, my wife and i we found another hood um in oklahoma so i had to drive up there and get it got a hood in the hood yeah yeah i yeah. got a hood in the hood that's exactly <laughs> right so but it didn't have the louvers so I, I look and i wanted to get it back to the way my dad had it right so i found a guy out in garland that did those punches and stuff and i took it to him and he did that and, and, cool. and got it put back on and, and repainted so so there's that little history on yeah, that on the hood so so there's that um and the new engine in it now the crate motor is a 351 windsor and um it's a great motor it's probably only got realistically i mean even after you know all these years probably 2,000 miles on it maybe 2,500 miles on it because you know only drive it on Sundays and to car shows and things like that yeah pick up the groceries and, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah on a, yeah on a weekend cruise so Sweet. um so yeah and uh my my stepson Corey had talked me into this it had a uh, Holly double pumper carburetor on it right mm -hmm. and it did okay but I was just never great at tuning those things and he talked me into getting the sniper uh, fuel injected system all right so I did that and I thought that was pretty cool got that from summit in the setup and uh, got that put on we put that on ourselves but we just could never really get that thing tuned right and I struggle with Holly and them sending me some troubleshooting software and all this and I, I couldn't do that and I wasn't aware of House of Hot Rod so I went to a couple of other different shops and they tootled with it and they could really they got it better but they could never just really get it right right so that's when um, I think that's when I started you know reaching out and, and, and looking at some other shops and found House of Hot Rods perfect and called them up and and went out and man as soon as I walked in the shop I was like okay this is this is where I need to be you need, right? yeah, yeah, that's exactly yeah. The I mean I'll, yeah I mean because just the main garage bay there's nothing but badass projects yeah. going on and i was i was really impressed and I'm it's like, massive. Wow. I mean, yeah it's, and i thought you know i'm not going to be able to afford this place but you know after working with them and originally jerry and stacy and and now chris um you know everything they've done for me is, has been very reasonable i mean you pay for what you get could i've done it cheaper other places maybe would it have turned out the way I, I highly doubt it I'm right, super right. impressed with the work they've done and the way it's turned out so so, so tell us the, what was yeah. the first thing uh, and then how did it progress has it been in the shot the whole time what's it back and forth uh, it's kind of back and forth I think they started with uh, getting the sniper right right and they explained to me that well part of your problem is you don't have all the accessories that really work hand in hand with this sniper mm -hmm. system so uh, the distributor and a few other things that they put together and and uh, and that's what really just made it all tune and work correctly. So I think we had that, and then um, and then I think I, I took it back home for a while, and um, I was talking to them about excuse me how I always wanted a you know AC really an aftermarket AC system yeah, in there, and so that, in Texas. yes, exactly. So that was my next project basically with them is they put they put um, the new system in there and one belt drive and and all of that in the aftermarket and they did a fabulous job with that that thing works great um 
And then uh, I think I took it home after that and then started talking to him some more um, about the suspension. I'd already kind of, you know, thought about that because, it, you know, it always, it's got the original suspension in it, right, in the, in the, you know, the gearbox for the steering. I had to do an aftermarket on that and rebuilt, and it's just never been really ideal. I mean, right. it kind of always drove like a drove boat like and kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and get the QA1 suspension system put in. So I took it back to them for that. And man, it's just unbelievable. It, it's it, night and it, day. Night and day, absolutely night and day. I had to get new tires and wheels because it had to come lower, and they they weren't really fitting right my original wheels and tires. So that was okay because what we ended up doing, I, I just love it. It it looks great. It's, yeah, it's a great uh, stance. For it, sure. it really is. Yeah, it kind of ties everything together. I like the long bed. Usually, I mean, the short Thank beds you. are really in, but this long bed really it's, yeah, it's nice yeah, and looks, clean. Yeah, it's, it's nice and clean. Looks really good. Um, I don't know if you've got a picture of the back, but you know my dad always wanted the the Cadillac tail light, so we welded the the tailgate shut, and there we go. And so, um, so that's a really cool look. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Really, yeah. really like that. Um, so but those, yeah, so those are Cadillac. Uh, yeah, they're Cadillac tail lights. Yeah, yeah. So you know what year? Um, uh, I do not know what year. I don't recall that. So I'd have to look at one of our three or four different folders yeah, that we have yeah, stacked yeah. about no, I like, like that. that. But yeah, so. Um, but yeah, it's just really great. So the QA1 system is is amazing. The way it rides and handles is just unbelievable. And then uh, you know, as things happen, I, I started talking to him about because see the the little the little mirrors on the side those are just really for looks. You can't see anything backing out, and you know with the tinted windows and the in the rear view mirror, you can't really see backing up. So. Um, I asked him about a backup camera, you know, what it would take to see about doing something like that. And uh, basically what they did is they have an amazing guy named Chance in the shop that, you know, custom builds consoles and did all that. And he really did an amazing job. He built a custom console and had it, you know, all wrapped and put a, a, an incredible sound system in this truck. It's unbelievable. I have an upgraded sound system in my 2020 Lariat, and this, this sounds better than that oh yeah <laughs> it's, no, a custom sound system it, uh, it, yeah i mean it's really really unbelievable yeah, the whole headliner's the sure. speaker and yeah. they built a custom box behind the seat i've got the speakers and the doors with lights and the console lights up i didn't have any dome lights of course in this old truck so yeah, so what are we looking at uh right yeah so here. that's the so that's the door speakers that 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 have lights around them it's yeah. just awesome yeah. and then the the consoles in the middle you can see how he built it and notched it out so my shifter is still right in play yeah you've got two buttons there one's uh turns the backup camera on for the on the flat screen and the other one turns on and off the the uh the lights the that light up there so it's just freaking awesome <laughs> it really sounds yeah, good this is amazing it's that bluetooth and you know i can run it through my phone it's got the backup camera it's got the speaker so it's hand, hands free i can talk um you know just like i could in a brand new truck so it's really it is really awesome. How are you liking I, I, that AC? Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. The heat and the AC works great. So, yeah, it's pretty. It's very, very uh, impressive. It's amazing the build, for done. sure. Yeah, um, it and really then, is. Uh, it looks, uh, the, the body looks amazing. The paint really looks good. Uh, the, the design is, is is fantastic. These yeah. are very in style right now, for sure. The yeah. C10s and the, the F100s and this, this old, old school truck. Uh, look is really in but uh so what do you what are you planning to do next well um you know right now i'm just going to sit back and enjoy it for the time being i think do so i mean it's really <laughs> yeah maybe do some burnouts <laughs> break in the new tires pretty good um but and just really go to as, as many car shows as i can locally and and maybe even some out of town since it's running so good we got one coming up here pretty soon yeah i know we do i'm going to definitely be there so looking forward to that um, I think I'm going to have the truck back by the 9th uh, of March. There's another little uh, car show in in, Ken in Kennedale, I think. So I'm going to try to go to that. So Stacy hooks me up and and uh, helps me, you know, keep an eye out for the different local yep. car shows and gave me some web websites to keep track of. So I'm just going to do that. I really, really enjoy doing that. Have you won anything yet? Um, you know, I did, uh, not since they've done this latest work on it, but a couple of years ago, I did win um, a couple of uh, plaques. I think one was best engine and one uh, was best, or uh, first in class. Yeah. 
it's a little uh, car show over in Bedford, so that felt pretty good. I yeah. certainly didn't expect that, but I'll get ready for some more. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. It's kind of next level, so yeah, I'm very proud of it. So that's I think awesome. my dad would would certainly be looking down. And, oh, he's very happy. Yeah, he he should be happy. So I think so. So, so. you think uh, you're gonna sell it now? <laughs> that truck, I, I, I give my son, I only have one biological son, and, you know, he's 34, and I tell him all the time, man, you, you know, you cannot sell this truck. Yeah, that's yeah. that's going to be in the will. Well, so. I'll give you $2,000 yeah. for it right yeah, now. Okay. Right now. All yeah, okay. All right, you know what, let's do it. <laughs> that wouldn't yeah, be Yeah, here's $2,000. There it is, right there. Yeah, too great. <laughs> No, I love no, it. Uh, no, I appreciate is, it. This is an awesome build for sure. Man, um, thank you so much. It means really? a lot to me. And I, I can't speak highly enough about House of Hot Rods. Like I say, Stacy's been fantastic. She keeps me in the loop, you know, every step of the way. Um, She's a big talker. Yeah, 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 she <laughs> is. Man. Tell She's a, yeah. <laughs> no, but she's awesome. And, and Matt, the one that did, you know, the majority, I think, of the engine work and the QA1 system and Thomas. They've done fantastic. Um, Chance, you know, a different, you know, another level. <laughs> what he does with yeah. his, with his interior work and sound systems is just, just incredible. No, I'm they, just they, they so enjoy happy. their craft. They're definitely experts at, and and uh, love exactly what they do. Yeah. I know uh, for a fact. And House of Hot Rods. Uh, mm -hmm. I, when I came in um, to the organization, uh, they blew my mind away also i mean it, it, it's yeah. top notch all the way through for sure yeah it really is I, i've already written them a google review and probably have more in store and um <laughs> you know uh, I, they they really are a different so you know, you, level so you, shop so you would you uh, recommend to friends and buddies and family and all that good stuff absolutely excellent absolutely i would excellent well uh do you have any other hot rods in in, in mind uh no uh no i don't not right now this one i'm just going to uh -oh. focus on this for a while <laughs> it's been a it's been a long time in the works yeah. you know so since we originally got it back from those those knuckleheads yeah, out there like at Azel. It, yeah. so it's just time to really sit back and Gotta enjoy take it at this some point time to recover let yes the, exactly let the bank account yeah back <laughs> that's up. that's exactly right <laughs> Let the wife calm down a little bit. So. <laughs> I know how, she, right. how does she like it? How does she like? Oh, uh, she 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 loves it. Does yeah. she drive it or yeah. does she sit? Past she hasn't it? driven it yet. Uh, she's of course she's you know been on rides with me with it. And you put her in the bed like you used to. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. It don't even have a tailgate, man. How do I do that? Yeah. So. <laughs> But yeah, it's Excellent. it's pretty awesome. So well, yeah. we're we're really happy that you came in. Yeah, um, man. We're it's... we're glad to have you as a customer and a, a loyal customer at that. And uh, you know where we are all the time. Um, but uh, again, I, I can't say enough about this truck. I love it. And if you do want to sell it, uh, let me know. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll get your number. Yeah. I'll get your number from Stacy. <laughs> For sure. But I that I, I wouldn't happen. hold I wouldn't hold your breath, brother. <laughs> oh, man, I can hold it pretty long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because so I you know guys you've got more things on your punch list that you yeah. want done. Yeah, I do. They're actually doing a few punch lists right now, a few extra little things. But Oh, it's in the shop uh, right now? Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, just, excellent. Yeah, yeah. So All I'm right. just tweaking a few things. But, yeah, All right. awesome, man. Well, uh, yeah, again, you thank great. you so much for coming out. And uh, Thank you. When it's all done, we'll take a look at it and get a video of it and all that good stuff, too. That's awesome. And send Looks us some to. videos of the old ones where... I will. Yeah, I'm putting so all that could. together. Yeah, that'd be great to add yes. that to that. That's going to be a good little slideshow. Awesome. Yes. So we'll yes. do that. Thank you all so all right. much. Thanks Thank so much. You guys are great. Bye -bye. Okay.